Hey guys, so this tutorial is featuring my favorite color, which is, can we guess, can we guess, can we wait a second, pink. Yes, it is featuring the color pink. I definitely think pinks and reds are colors that people really 100% stray away from using on their eyes because in my, I always used to think like, oh my gosh, this maybe look like I have pink eye. Like it's gonna look really, really bad. Gradual, more natural pink, like a flush as opposed to like a, there's an infectious thing in my eye socket. Look like you're diseased and someone's like, holler, get that bitch to a doctor. If you guys want to see how I got this pretty pink look, keep on watching. So first I'm taking the NYX Jumbo Pencil in Strawberry Milk. It's just a milky pink color. My eyelids are really veiny. Don't worry, I fix that. Whoa, eye chat's on. Should I talk to Pepe? Christy, then I get mad. Okay, yeah, I'm blending that in with my finger. Now I'm taking Sin by Urban Decay, just a really light um, champagne, but it looks a little bit more of a pink undertone. This is a Hot Luxor um, Cosmetics pigment, and this is in... Hearsay, and it is more of like a corally pink. I'd say it's definitely making this with more orangey yellow undertones, which I really love this color. And this is another Hot Luxor pigment. I love the packaging. It's the fierce and stuff. And this is in Hot Barbie. Howdy. And I'm using it on a pencil brush just right in the crease. And this is basically just like a a dark hot pink. It's like a legit hot pink color. So I'm working this into my crease and um um yeah. You know, like you would work anything into your crease. I'm not going too far in, just so it's in the crease. Wow, crease, 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 kick it. Now I blend. I blend real good. Off the auto stuff. Ooh, okay, this is Short Shorts by Mac at the Frost. And I'm using that on a whatever the hell that pencil brush, pencil brush. Oh, maybe that's it. And I'm using that in my inner corner and bringing that in a little farther to really brighten up the look, you know. Taking the same shadow in hearsay which is the corally one and i'm using it on a pencil brush just slightly around it not too much you don't want to look pink eye and dead this is urban decay pencil in zero i need to find my shirt and really bad it's poking me in the eye and stuff like that and i'm just lining my waterline with the black liner maybe we line show how to look the liner and i'm just lining the top it's gonna go on fast motion oh yeah i'm skilled like that do, 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 do. Okay, Jeopardy. Okay, this is the Clinique Bottom Wash Mascara, which I'm obsessed with, and it makes your lashes so long on the bottom. And I'm curling my eyelashes, and it's getting all creepy and twisted. My eyeballs are so shiny. Oh my god, that's so much. Okay, Sexy Cares Mascara by Rimmel, and using that, putting that all up, SpongeBob muscles working its way through my lashes. And yeah, and this is Well Dressed Blush by MAC. It's just a really neutral pink color. You can go for any really neutral pink because the rest of it looks too pink. I mean, not too pink, but like overtly pink. This is subtly pink and just on Apple's cheeks. And I'm taking Hue, which is a pink based nude. And you really want everything else to look too really neutral so the eyes stand out in a good way, not like a what the f are you wearing way. Here is the eyes. Um, yeah, pretty. And there's me, Kate. Um, Goodbye, goodbye.